I'm Julia Osbrook here with Head the Cross Coach Lauren Scott. Coach, preseason has begun and practices are in place. And I know last year you guys made it to the NCAA tournament. What do you have in sight for this year's team? This year we're really excited. We started practice last week and our girls have been working really hard. Um, I think the mentality and the approach to the season is really important. And last year, although we made it to the NCAA tournament, we had a lot of really close in-conference games. So I think for us, one of the things that we did this year differently is we really beefed up our schedule. Um, we've added some very good competition um, to try to get us prepared for hopefully a really good season and maybe a pro season again. Great. What makes this year's team different than last year's team? Um, this year we have a lot of new faces, but we also have um, less of a gap in our in our roster. So last year we weren't as strong depth-wise, so this year we have girls who um, at any given day can jump into the lineup and make a difference. So it's really nice because it's beefed up the intensity of practice. It's helped us to challenge each other more. Um, whereas last year, you know, once we, you know, had, had to sub in, we didn't really have, we had a big drop off in, in the level of our um, team. But this year, I think throughout, we have a pretty good, good roster of athletic girls. In terms of returners, I know Katie Burnett was the USA South Player of the Year last year. Yeah. What are you expecting from your returners and Katie this year? Well, we're still a fairly young program, so Katie and um, Lottie Meadows and Danielle Lee and Taylor Pierce are the only members of the original team that are still with us. And I think they are looking to um, be a good example of how far we've come and to not stop that you know, train from moving forward. Each year we're looking to improve and they're trying to set um, a role and an example for our new kids every year they come in that you know our trajectory needs to be up and that wherever we were last year we need to pick off there and keep going. So they've done a really good job of being good examples so far. So the USA South preseason coaches poll has yeah. Meredith placed at first. How do you feel about that? Well it's quite an honor to be voted there by our peers. Um, I know that last year we had a lot of one goal games with the teams especially that finished in the top four so at any given time they could have been a coin flip and so I think Looking at um, the games from last year and the situation that we have going forward this year, um, sometimes those games came down to one possession. They came down to a draw control or a cause turnover. So this year we're kind of focusing on details and trying to make sure that we prepare and respect our competition um, every game before we enter, um, before it starts. And also just keeping in mind that our program made a huge leap from year one to year two, just with a matter of getting a few recruits in. So, you know, there's no saying that anybody in our conference can't have a huge jump in, in their season as well. So I think respecting our competition, despite the fact that, you know, they did vote us number one, is going to be a key to entering all the games and really being able to compete. Thank you so much, Coach. Sure. With your lacrosse preseason preview, I'm Julia Osbrook.